Hello, sixth graders. Today we are practicing some note taking in language arts. So we will be using our ELA notebooks, our English language arts notebook. And the way this works is as I take notes on this screen here, you should be taking the same exact notes on your iPad. And the beauty of this is that you get to pause the video whenever you need to, to get caught up on notes if things are going a little too fast or if you need to rewatch anything, you have the ability to do that. So it's basically the same thing that if we were in class, we'd be taking notes together. Now we're just doing it virtually. So open up to your first clean page in your notebook. And on the very top, there is that little blank white space where you have your header and I recommend having a writing and a header every time you take notes so everything stays organized. Today, our topic is prefixes. So on my top, and what you should put in your header is prefix. Okay. Now, as I said, we're going to start taking notes. You should be taking notes with me. If you need to pause at any point, feel free to do so. So, a prefix. Let's define it. A prefix can be added to the beginning of a base word to create a new word. So, a prefix can be added to the beginning of a base word to create a new word. There are lots of different kinds of prefixes. Um, and the one that we're going to begin with today is the prefix pre. And what that means is that pre, P-R-E, can be added to a base word to create a new word. That dash next to the P, that just represents where the base word would be. So I'm going to give you some examples. Okay, so here's our first example. Our first example, and I'm going to make a bolted list underneath it, is pre-order. Now, my prefix P, pre, excuse me, is right there. And my base word is in green right here, pre-order. What does that mean? Well, it means to order before. You may not have highlighters available for you. So if I were you, let's go ahead and circle the prefix and underline the base words when we go through these examples. So we're gonna circle the prefix and underline the base word. Our next example is the word pre-made. Pre is our prefix and the base word is made. Pre-made. Some people like their meals pre-made. So if you're like thinking about this, what's kind of the pattern between pre-order, pre-made? Well, what I'm kind of figuring out here as is that the bait or the prefix pre means before. And I'm gonna write that over here big so we all write that down. Pre meaning the prefix pre means before. I can also look at the word prefix, like I write up here, 
And since it says that a prefix can be added to the beginning of a word, that's why prefix has the prefix pre at the beginning. That's kind of confusing, but when you think about it, it makes sense. So our first prefix that we're going over today is pre. Pre means before. So it, for example, this example here, pre-order, normally the base word is just order. But when you say pre-order, that means you are ordering before. For pre-made, meaning you're getting something that is already made before you have it. So that's our first one. Now I'm running out of a little bit of space here, so I need to go on to my next sheet. You're gonna continue just moving on like down your, um, your notebook page, okay? Okay, so here's my next page, sixth graders, and I just wrote down the pre prefix, which we just went over. So pre means before pre-order, pre-made. Our next prefix that we are going over today is the prefix re, meaning you add the words re to the beginning of a word, of uh, the base word. And in this case, re means again. So, some examples. Re play. So say, for example, you replay a movie, you are playing the movie again. So my prefix is re, and my base word is play, meaning you're playing something again. My next example is rebuild. So if you're building something, which is your base word, but you have to do it again, which is what re means, you are rebuilding it. So re means again. So you can think of words like return or review or reaction. Those are all words that have the prefix re. In my last example for all of you to write down is the prefix sub. Oops, did not mean to use the highlighter. Sorry about that. Sub. Sub, when used as a prefix, means under. So, for example, the word sub Marine. A submarine is a boat underwater. Well, marine can be used as a like vessel used on the water, and sub means under, so that means a boat underwater. Hence the word submarine and the prefix sub meaning under. So, you should have all of this in your notes. So, the previous page defining what a prefix is, and then these three examples, pre, re, and sub. Your final task with your notes is to um, take a picture of your notes and then upload that picture to Canvas. Ooh, I know, because I want to see that you actually did take the notes. So once you finish the notes, take a picture of them and upload them to Canvas. Nice job today, everyone.